So it turns out humans and plants are all alike. Males don't listen to females, even when their lives depend on it. No, really. This is according to scientists at UC Irvine who specifically study the relationship between insects and plants. So there's obvious parallels you could draw from um, sort of uh, stereotypes about humans and relative listening abilities of males and females, but in the case of plants, it actually makes sense to us from an evolutionary perspective. What we've been investigating is whether neighboring plants can warn a plant of an oncoming attack from an insect. So things like nicotine or aspirin, um, those are chemicals produced by plants that we, we now use, uh, but they, those evolved in those plants as part of the plant's defense against, against insects. What we were interested in was whether males and females differ either in how much they speak about the fact that they're being eaten, so the volatile chemicals they produce, the smells, or whether they listen differently. And what we found was that females are good listeners, that they respond to a message coming from either a male or a female neighbor, but that males only respond to the volatiles, the smells that are emitted by other males, and so they ignore females. I know, I know, many of you are crossing your arms right now and rolling your eyes and thinking, tell me something I don't know. So what does this science mean? Females generally are, because they have to invest more in reproduction, so producing the seed requires a lot of energy, just like a female carrying a, a baby has to invo devote a lot of resources towards, towards that pregnancy. That's true for female plants too. They're listening to any plant that's near them and being more cautious in their perspective. So they will turn on their immune system, whether the volatiles come from a male or a female. Males being less invested in reproduction, they can afford to be eaten a little bit by insects and they can still recover their fitness. So why should any of us care? Understanding how plants defend themselves against insects is integral towards agricultural practices because lots of plant, lots of losses of crops to insects is very costly and it's also why we spray insecticides on crops is to control insect herbivores. And so by looking at natural systems, we can understand better how it is that plants and insects interact with each other and hopefully that can benefit us in terms of uh, more sophisticated agricultural practices. To find out more about this story or read the full article, head to NBCLA.com. From UC Irvine for NBC4, I'm Aaliyah Jasmine.